Hello everybody and what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 20. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, hit that like button for me, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this action as well as the other three franchises on this channel, franchise content all day every day here on Franchise Gaming. Once again, just another radio show with one question, so let's get into it. Never Okay, Redskins going to be at home taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. And then after that, they are also going to take on the San Francisco 49ers. So a couple home games in this episode. That first game against the Cincinnati Bengals, Darius Geis going to have a chance to increase his dev trait which is going to be huge i mean he's got quite a goal to reach he's going to have to be a focal point of the offense let's see what nick has for us in his weekly video question now as a reminder to you guys you can submit questions via twitter just at me on twitter with your question i can use it in the episode as well as video file audio file however you want to submit if you want to submit video and audio files you need to email them to me franchise guy 88 at gmail.com so that i may go ahead and use them in next episode so thank you guys for listening again let's bring in nick see what you got bud wounds looked great in his young rookie campaign in the first four games forcing two game clinching turnovers do you think he can be the future of this defense even though your cornerback core is older with keon wild in it it could be one of the most dominant secondaries for years to come also, do you plan on making Paul Richardson a vocal point after really showing out against the Giants after he voiced his discontent with the receptions and touches he was getting and then he just absolutely gets fed the ball and just dominates the opponent's defense? Do you think that's something that we could see reoccur, you know, for the fantasy football fans out there? Very nice double-layered question there, Nick, as you gave us some defense and some offense to think about. Now, first off, I will start with the original point, the defense. Keon Wild is everything that we thought he would be when the Redskins traded up to make sure that they could get this kid. And quite frankly, I'm loving it. I mean, Josh Norman has helped him. A lot from what I'm hearing in the locker room, but Josh Norman is kind of a problem in other areas, and we'll get to that later on in this episode. However, Keon Wild has 100% taken everything that he has said to heart, and he has gone out there and literally locked down some receivers. So it is great to see, and I hope that we'll see more of that going forward from Keon Wild. Absolutely amazing defender. Could be like the next Darrell Rivas. Who knows? And as far as the offense is concerned, Richardson, it was nice to see him ball out. I think, if I'm being honest, against the Bengals, this team's 0-4 that's coming into town, and I really think that Darius Geis is going to play a huge role um, in this game for sure. Going forward, maybe. I would like to see Paul Richardson really become a focal point because he's been a great player. So coming out of practice, I'm hearing some good things out of Montez Sweat. I'm hearing he had a nice practice. Troy Apke had a nice practice, but he doesn't really have a chance to start over the rookie at safety. And Kevin Bach, he's been having a lot of really good practices um, I don't know what's going to end up going on with him. I don't think he's quite ready to take the field playbook-wise, though. A huge blockbuster made here. Josh Norman flipped for DeAndre Baker with the New York Giants in division. Now, I'll get to that just a little bit here. Josh Norman, from what I'm hearing, was getting into fights with Avery Williamson. And those two were not getting along. And Josh Norman, 
was the domino that fell. Avery Williamson, they had a deal on the table. They couldn't make it. So here are the highlights, and we have got a huge run by Mixon to start the ball game, and that is not what we want to see happen here to open this ball game, but it's only 7-0, and plenty can happen now. Darius Geis, a huge focal point, loses three yards and then gains one back as he lost three on two runs and caught there. But Cole Holcomb at middle linebacker going to make a huge interception and bring it back to the house for six. Beautiful cut off of Tyler Eifert. Avery Williamson following behind, and look at this linebacker core eating it up early on. 7-7, seven, seven. here's Dalton now. He's going to throw his first completion. That is Eifert, and he is going to pick up the first down. Now second and four for the Bengals, and there is Eifert again. Huge focal point so far for Dalton and the Bengals, Tyler Eifert. Here's a throw. That's going to be a completion and a first down on a screenplay. Now third and five, and it's going to be Dalton throwing it up, and a beautiful catch right there. Tyler Boyd making the big catch, and there is a run, backup running back, stealing the touchdown away from Joe Mixon. And the Bengals taking a 14-7 lead. This game's going back and forth so far. Here's Darius Geis looking to have a huge game. Could upgrade his dev trait today. Second and nine now. He's going to make a catch out of the backfield. And Geis again. Another beautiful play by him. So now first and ten. Later on in the first quarter, it is Bryce Love making some plays and making some jukes as he finds his way to the first down marker. Now second down and six. And it's Geis finding a way to get to the marker. First and ten in the second quarter. Darius Geis once again going to bust a tackle and waltz into the e end zone for the easy TD. After he makes a man miss, he ties the ball game at 14. There's a catch, Tyler Boyd. And again, Boyd having a very nice day today. One guy we haven't heard a lot of is A.J. Green. And there is going to be a pass interference call against Keon Wild. Not exactly what we want the young rookie to be learning how to do. No pass interference, please. Here underneath to Joe Mixon on third and ten, and that would lead to a field goal. So, Bengals with the three-point lead. Darius Geis with a beautiful first down run on a first down. Now second and six, and Geis going to pick up another first down. Beautiful running by Darius Geis today. Now here's Haskins, he's going to make a throw, and that's going to be a completion over to Damian Ratley. Third and eight now, it is Andy Dalton with the ball after the tying field goal by Washington. Now that just looks like really good defense to me, and an interception again by Cole Holcomb. But they're going to call pass interference again, and this time on the rookie safety Vaughn Poole. I don't like the call, but it is the call, and it could change the game here as Joe Mixon down to the one-yard line. Now on a third and goal for the Bengals, and it is A.J. Green. We finally hear from him stomping into the end zone for six. It'll be a 24-17 ball game now as the Redskins trying to do something to end the half, and they are just not able to. So Bengals take over here with a little over 30 seconds to go in the half, and there's A.J. Green making some catches. Third and 16 now. It's Tyler Eifert on a run play. That does nothing. We go into the halftime tunnel, down seven. So here's Darius Geis coming out of the tunnel, and another beautiful run by Geis. So second and inches, and it's given back to Darius Geis with another nice run. He's got 87 on the day. And now Geis again going to run this one out to the right, and that is close to a first down. Second and inches here. Haskins going to throw, and that's going to be complete. And that's going to be a first down. Third and six. And Haskins going to get brought down by Hubbard on the defense. Ohio State man sacking Ohio State man. 
There's Tyler Eifert, and that's going to be a first down for the Bengals as they take over with the football. Second and four, and that's complete to Tyler Boyd across the middle for a first down. Now it's a third and 12, and there's going to be a screen play. It's Joe Mixon, and Mixon going to make a man miss and find his way all the way to the 32-yard line of Washington. Now he's going to get a carry, and he's got it up the middle, and he's going to bust another tackle and waltz into the end zone. Beautiful run by Joe Mixon. He's had a few of those today, and it's a 14-point lead for the Cincinnati Bengals. There's a beautiful return on the kickoff by Tremont Smith. That's how he won that kickoff returning job. Now a third and three, and it is guys. He's going to be stopped short of the marker. So fourth and three, the Redskins going to go for it here, and that's going to be complete. And that'll be a first down. Damian Ratley on the completion. First and ten, there's a throw out of the backfield. That's going to be Bryce Love, and he's going to get his way past the marker for another Washington Redskin first down. Now third and two, they're going to toss this to Geis, and nowhere to go. It's going to lead to a field goal. 31-20, it's an 11-point lead for Cincinnati, and Tyler Eifert is going to find his way to the first down marker. Now from their own 46, a huge sack right there. John Allen getting in for the sack of Andy Dalton. Third and eight now. Bengals going to throw this one. That's A.J. Green, and he will get across the sticks. So second and ten, and Dalton on the play fake. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw, and he's got A.J. Green again. They just couldn't cover A.J. Green in the latter parts of the first half into the second half here. Now third and ten, and it's a big throw, and it is actually held on to by Tyler Boyd but it would lead to a field goal. So again, a 14-point game. There's Paul Richardson, and he's going to take a late hit out of bounds, and that is going to get an automatic first down for the Redskins and an extra 15 yards. So now third and 10 from their own 41. It's complete to Darius Geis on a slant play. First down. Now it's a third and five. It's another slant. It's another Geis play as he is working every bit he can to get that dev trade. Here again, a Geis on the slant. He did it three times in a row. Now first and 10. And Haskins drops back. He got Damian Ratley in the end zone for the touchdown. Beautiful catch by Damian Ratley. So now it is going to be an onside kick and it will be recovered by the Bengals. So here on third and nine, it's going to be to Tyler Boyd, and he will get caught behind the line. Here's a big 60-yard field goal, and it is hit by Josh Lambeau, which effectively ends the ball game. No chance for the Redskins. They lose it 37-27, and Haskins 16-25, 197, a touchdown, no interceptions. Geis gets 112 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Joe Mixon, 125, two scores for him. It was Jawan Bass who scored the uh, second stringer touchdown there earlier in the game. A.J. Green, 75 and a touchdown. Ratley, 60 and a touchdown. Geis with 52 yards and 112 yards on the ground does surpass 150 today. Total, Jonathan Allen with a sack. And, of course, Cole Holcomb with the interception. Von Clemens going to get himself an upgrade in this game. Did a nice job blocking at left guard. He has a long way to go to really fit the scheme, but we are working our way to getting him there. So that was huge. Um, definitely needed that. But a disappointing loss. But we do get Darius Geis here to complete his goal and get the superstar development trait, which is absolutely huge for this team. Darius Geis also gets 8,000 XP. He gets two upgrades, which is really going to help him out. He will now go to an 82 overall. He will have his first skill for his superstar ability, as he now has Spin Cycle. So good to see Darius Geis improving and really emerging. Nobody knew what was going to happen out of all the running backs on the team, but he has emerged. Quentin Dunbar will now end up being 
back in the lineup. So the trade of Josh Norman really makes this a young defensive backfield. And you got to really like that going forward. So now the 49ers come into town, and we really need to get a win from them. Jimmy Garoppolo going to complete a third and one for a first down. And then a third and seven is incomplete off the hands of Marquise Goodwin, who just completed the first down play. Darius Geis on his first carry, first play of the game for the Redskin offense, is going to take this thing all the way for a touchdown of 80 yards to start this ball game. Absolutely amazing run from Darius Geis, and you can see the superstar ability helping already. There's a huge completion for a first down from Jimmy G to Marquise Goodwin. And then another post route to Marquise Goodwin. Looked like the same damn play, but Jimmy Garoppolo hit it twice in a row. Here's going to be a screen play, and that's going to be complete and pushed ahead for the first down, but Dante Pettis going to get seriously injured here. He would not return for a while. I don't, I don't think he returned at all, to be honest with you. We'll take a look here, but there is a third and in inches and thrown away, so the 49ers will get themselves a field goal. Here's Paul Richardson, and he's gonna complete a pass here, get himself across the sticks for a first down. Now a second and 21. Haskins going to roll. He's got Darius Geis wide open, and Geis going to make the huge catch down to the 32. Here is a field goal for Hopkins, and that would be good, as that is what the Darius Geis catch led to. So now 10-3, to and it's Garoppolo. He's going to throw this one deep, and that's going to get picked off by Keon Wild. Keon Wild now the number one corner of this team and it is paying dividends as he is able to bring that one back to the 41 of San Francisco. Keon Wild doing a fantastic job back there leading this defensive backfield. So now second and five and it's going to be Haskins getting away and using his legs and picking up a first down. Nice play. Here's Haskins now on first and 10 from the 22, and he's going to find his man, Damian Ratley, down inside the five. First and goal for the Redskins now, and it's going to be thrown in. It's going to be picked off by D. Ford on the slant route. Come on, haven't you learned anything from the Seahawks? Do not throw at the goal line. Jimmy Garoppolo going to get taken down by Ryan Kerrigan on the next play of the game. So now on a third and 19, the 49ers trying. That's going to be completed to Tevin Coleman, but he's not going to make it to the marker. So here's the ensuing punt. It's Tremont Smith, and he's got some room out there. He makes a little juke move, and he's going to get himself across the 50 to the 49-yard line of San Francisco. Here's Haskins looking on second and four. He finds Paul Richardson. Nice little juke move but it amounts to the first down. Now third and nine. It's Haskins. He's looking nearly intercepted off the hands of the defender. And it's going to be a Dustin Hopkins field goal attempt about 53 yards, and it is good. So a 13-3 Redskin lead here. Still in the first half. Here is Garoppolo. He's going to hand it to Tevin Coleman. Beautiful run, but he's going to get smacked by Landon Collins. And it's going to get picked up by Quinton Dunbar. So the Redskins take over with the football. Here's Darius Geis running now off the toss play. And a very nice run as he gets over into San Francisco territory. Now Haskins looking, going to throw. And a beautiful acrobatic interception for Bryce McCain as he gets it right back for San Francisco. So now Jimmy G throwing deep. That's nearly picked off. The flag was holding on San Francisco. It is declined, and Damian Ratley taking the jet sweep for a first down. Now Geis going to get the toss out left. He's going to make a nice juke move, and this man has over 130 yards in the first half rushing the football. Here's a throw, and that's going to be complete, and that is another Damian Ratley catch. He's been a huge part of this offense this episode. Now it's Haskins, and he's going to go down holding the ball too long. D. Ford, another big play by him in this one. Now second and eight, it's Damian Ratley again. 
Nobody on Damian Ratley, and they do eventually catch up to him at the 22-yard line. Now third and one from the 12. There's a throw, and that'll be incomplete. It'll lead to a field goal, which is good. A 16-3 lead now here in the second half for our Redskins. There's Jimmy Garoppolo throwing to the right side. Now he throws it up the middle on a third and three. He completes that one. Now a third and one. It's Tevin Coleman. He will not get there. He is stopped in his tracks. So the punt happens. Now third and 14. He had Darius Geis wide open. And Haskins could not hit him. So now still 16-3. It's third and two for San Francisco. And that one thrown. Kind of caught there by Kittle, but out of bounds. So now here's Tremont Smith on the punt return. And a very nice punt return by Tremont Smith as he gets this one all the way to the 47. So now here's Geis, and he is going to fumble the football. Picked up by Richard Sherman of the 49ers, and they will get it back. Here's Tevin Coleman, and a very nice run. Similar to the one he fumbled on, but that time it's a first down 49ers. Here's a throw, and that's going to be complete. And that's going to go to the end zone for the touchdown after a missed tackle or two. And the 49ers climbing back into this one. It's 16 to 10. Haskins looking to lead his team downfield, but he's going to take a sack instead. Sheldon Day coming in strong. So here on a third and 19, Paul Richardson makes the catch, but there's not a chance he gets to the marker. 49er ball now. First and five after a sort of BS encroachment call, but there's George Kittle up the middle anyway. Would have picked up the first down regardless. So first and 10 here in the fourth quarter now. It's Tevin Coleman out of the backfield and a beautiful play there to the 23-yard line. So now from the 19 on a third and six. It's Garoppolo to the end zone, back of the end zone, caught but out of bounds. They would challenge. They would not get it. So they lose a timeout now. Fourth and six. And that time thrown inside the five and complete. So now a third and goal they would get it to. And that one's going to be complete. And another touchdown for 19. Not sure who that is. Taylor Gabriel maybe? I don't know. We'll find out after the game. But two big touchdown catches. And it has San Francisco in the lead. There's a first down Redskins. Now looking. It's another throw. Jordan Reed this time going to make a big catch. To the 24-yard line we go here on a second and three. It is Darius Geis with some power running. And he's going to get his way to the 17. So now second and eight from the 16. And another nice Darius Geis run. So here we go with Bryce Love in the game now. He's going to take the carry, and he is going to get his way to the corner of the end zone for the score. And the Redskins take their lead back. So now going for two to make it a full seven. It's going to be complete on the slant route. Jordan Reed. So now San Francisco taking over. It's going to be complete. Again, another nice completion. Another nice first down by Jimmy G. Now a first and five. Another encroachment call or a neutral zone infraction call. And that's going to be a completion to the right side. That looked like a Brady pass right there from the Brady understudy. But on third down, they can't complete it. Now fourth down, trying to complete it, and incomplete it is. Redskins take over with it. They do nothing with it. So San Francisco has it here at their own seven with another chance to tie this one, take it into overtime. Jimmy Garoppolo, it's not often you get two chances to be clutch, sir. And that's going to be Tevin Coleman. He's going to pick up the first down with his legs. And... Now just five seconds to play. It's a fourth and ten. Throwing it deep. Nearly picked off by Landon Collins. But there's one play left. And yeah, we're going to rub it in a little bit and kick another field goal. Kyle Shanahan's not happy about it. But you know what? Screw him. So Jimmy Garoppolo, 25 of 49 for 262. Two touchdowns and a pick. Haskins had no touchdowns. Two interceptions today. Darius Geis ran for 186 yards and a touchdown. Devin Coleman ran for 80. So, interesting there. As far as receiving, that was Debo Samuel who kept catching those damn touchdown passes on us. He had 100 yards, two touchdowns. Ratley had 101 yards. Uh, Paul Richardson had three catches for 22 today. So, not 
amazing. Not what he was doing the other day when he complained. But we get a pick from Keon Wild. We get a forced fumble by Landon Collins. We get a fumble recovery by Quentin Dunbar. And we get a dub. All right, Keon Wild going to go up a point here. We're going to, of course, keep putting this thing on man-to-man -man so he can be a great player. And look at that. He has a superstar dev trait. Finally unlocked. Love it. We need Vaughn Poole to unlock his as well. I would like to see what he ends up being. But we get a superstar out of the draft, and you can tell because he has been playing so damn well. So we make another trade after this game. Avery Williamson got into a fight, this time with Kevin Bach. Now, Kevin Bach's been very, very close with the head coach, Jamal McCoy, because of where he comes from and how much of an underdog player he is. So Avery Williamson is now gone as quickly as he came in. So, we're going to be taking on the Philadelphia Eagles to start off next episode. We also have the trade deadline coming up. So, anything you guys want to maybe see happen, let me know in the comment section below. But this Eagle game is going to be huge, and we're going to have the Giants after the bye. So, like, share, comment, subscribe. You're a pretty little star boy.